So we have um, this basic layout here, the thematic layout. We've pretty much pulled it forward from the parent theme of thematic. Um, and we know what we want it to look like. It's a little bit more like this. We're dealing with the header here to start with. Um, we have an image here on the left for our, our blog title. Then we have the log slogan up here across the top. And then we have the menu here. Right now we have the blog title here. And we actually want it to move kind of over. We have the slogan below it and we want it to run right next to it. And this is going to be our menu. Right now we only have one page. So it's just a, a single item menu. But we'll want that to move up as well. So uh, what do we need to do with that? Well, um, the first thing we're going to do is, is just to make things a little bit easier to see. Let's go ahead and uh, we can obviously do this in, um, sorry, red, one pixel, solid. We can obviously do this in, um, in Firebug as well, but this gives us something to look at pretty consistently. So now if we refresh this, what we're going to get is one pixel red around each of the divs so we have a better view of kind of how this is all being put together, right? So um, we've got that. So what we want is this one right up here. We need to see what that's called, and we can do that by uh, using, um, well, actually, that's the title itself. It's inside a span, and then the box, um, the div, is called blog, blog title. So let's go ahead and affect blog title a bit. Um, to do that, we'll put in blog title and we'll set a, a width of let's say 340 pixels uh, a height of 150 pixels uh, we'll say 140 why not pixels um, and then we're gonna just mm, I'm not sure if there's any margins on there but it doesn't hurt to zero them out real quick um, a quick note here I know that this is gonna be the size I want because I know roughly what the size of the logo is so I'm not just kind of choosing these out of a hat Although, again, uh, always room later on to kind of tweak things as I need them. So what does that do? Okay, so that makes this a big box. Now we just need to move this up here, right? How do we do that? Um, we know how we do that. Um, we apply a float. So if we float this to the left, float left, it should make room for everything to come up, right? So now let's take a look and refresh this. Ah, it didn't work. Okay, so why didn't it work? Well, I have a guess here. You may recall that we can clear things. And it looks like even though this is floated, this isn't moving up to fill up that space. It's clearing the float. So let's use, again, um, Webbug to fix this. If we look here, this is the blog description, and it's an H1. Let's look over here, and we'll see that in the typography.css, this is the file where it happens, we end up clearing both for all of our headers. And that makes some sense, but if we get rid of that, you'll see ah, things move up just the way we want them to. Now what we could do is say for H1, we don't want to clear both, but really we're only concerned about H1 inside of, say, blog title, right? Um, is that right? The blog description is in there. No, it's not in there. It's actually in branding. So let's go ahead and say um, that in the case of H1s in branding, which is just going to be that thing that we just saw. So in branding H1, we want it to be clear none. Let's see if that helps us out a bit. We'll refresh. And it looks like we're good. We've moved this up to the top. We might need to do a little bit more spacing here. We may want to. We may actually want to drop that down a bit. It just depends on how this lays out. We may need to pull that up a bit more once we get things in there. But basically, it looks like we're in the right zone for what we want to be doing.